Hi everyone, welcome to Edupedia World. This is Varun Ganga. Guys, in the last session we have learned many examples regarding case number 1 Varada Siddhantam Chudamani Sutra. But in this session we are going to see case number 2 Varada Siddhantam Chudamani Sutra. This case number 2 helps you in finding the product if the number of recurring digits either in the multiplicate or in the multiplier are different. And this can be explained through an example. Now let us see how to use this case number 2 Varda Siddhantam Chudamani Sutram to an example. The example that I am going to take in this session is 6,666,666 into 8,888. So guys, we observe very closely this example here. In the multiplicand, the number of digits are more when compared to the number of digits that are in the multiplier that is 8888. So guys, whenever you face like this type of situation, what you are going to do here is, you are going to make equal number of digits by keeping that many zeros in front of the multiplier. Now, after making equal number of digits, that is both the multiplicand and multiplier as well, now what you are going to do here is, we are going to find as usually our three important key terms. The number one, that is CN. It is called as compounding number and it is got up by multiplying the digits that are recurring. Here the digits that are recurring are 6 and 8. So 6 into 8, if you do, you will get 48. 48, it is a two digit number. So what you are going to do here is, you are going to add up the digits. So 4 plus 8, you will get 12. Now, the CN, what we have got here is 12. Now coming to next key term, what we are going to find is dn. dn it is called as diminishing number and it is got by multiplying the cn with the number of digits that are recurring. And here the cn what we have got is 12 and here the number of digits what we have to take is 4. Why? Because here whenever you are finding the dn, you have to take the number of digits that are recurring less. So here the least number of recurring digits are the multiplier that is 8888 and there are only 4 8s. So I am multiplying here the number with 4. That is 12 into 4, you will get 48 again and again it is a 2 digit number. So you have to add up the digits. So 4 plus 8, you will get 12 again. And therefore, dn what we have got here is 12. And now let us find the number of digits that are going to be in the answer. And I think you know how to find that. We have to add the number of digits that are in multiplicand as well as in multiplier. So 7 plus 4 you will get 11. So number of recurring digits here both in the multiplicand are 7 and in the multiplier are 4. So 7 plus 4 you will get 11. And therefore we can say that the number of digits that are going to be in the answer is 11. And now let us see the process. How we have to use this case number 2 Vardha Siddhantam Sutram in finding the product for the given example. Process goes like this. So now here, if you observe the table very closely, in the first step what we have done here is, we have multiplied the digits that are recurring. So 6 into 8 you will get 48. It is a 2 digit number so we have to ignore 4 and we have to take it. And we have to write it in the answer, the first digit from the right side. Moving further to step number 2, we had to add the CN with the first digit what we have got in the answer. So 12 plus H, you will get 20. It is a 2 digit number, so we had to take 0 that is the digit in 1's place and we had to write it in the answer. In the second digit from the right side and we had to take the carry on 2. Moving further to step number 3, again we had to add the CN with the second digit what we have got. So 12 plus 0, you will get itself but there is a carry on called 2 we have to add to it and you will get the sum 14. 14 again it is a two digit number so we have to take 4 in the third place of the answer from the right side and we have to take 1 as carry on. Moving further to step 4 again we have to add CN's third digit. If we add CN on the third digit we will get 12 plus 4 we will get 16 as a sum but there is a carry on 1. By adding to it, you will get 17 as a sum. 17, it is a 2 digit number, so we have to take 7 in 4th place and we have to ignore 1. You know, why I am ignoring 1? See here, we have to stop compounding here. 
since we have reached the number of digits of multiplier. So now we have to put directly the value of bn in 5th place, 6th place and 7th places. And after that, then we have to start complementing as we have reached to the end of multiplication. I think you have understood the process. So we do this process of compounding until we reach to the lesser number of recurring digits and the remaining digits are filled with the dns and it is done until we reach to the higher number of recurring digits and the process goes like this. Now if you observe the table very clearly here in step number 5 we have taken dn that is 12 and 12 it is a 2 digit number so we have to take the digit that is in 1's place that is 2 and we have to write in the 5th place of the answer from the right side. And the digit that is in 10's place should be taken as carry on. Moving further to step number 6, we have to add dn with the carry on what we have got. So 12 plus 1 you will get 13, 13 it is a 2 digit number. So we have to take the digit that is 3 in 6th place of the answer from the right side and we have to take 1 as carry on. Moving to step number 7, again we have to add dn with the carry on what we have got. So 12 plus 1 you will get 13. 13 it is a 2 digit number so we have to take 3 in 7th place and we have to take carry on as 1. Now moving further to step number 8. Here what we have got here is 7 digits of the answer and we are going to stop now. And we are going to subtract only the first, second, third and fourth digits from that many dns. You know why because? Because the number of digits that we have got in the answer are taken to detect based on the lesser recurring number of digits that is here multiply. Now let us see the process how we are going to detect. Here I am going to write all the dns that is 12, 12, 12, 12 and below that 7, 4, 0, 8. And I think you have remembered that in step number 7 there is a carry on one and it should be added to here. So 12 I have put a dot just one. So number of dots here are 1 and 12 plus 1 you will get 30. So 13 minus 8 usually you will get 5. So 12 minus 0 you will get 12 but 12 it is a 2 digit number so we have we should not take like that. So what we are going to do here is we have to write only 2 that is the digit in 1's place and the 1 should be taken as carry on to another 12. So here again 12 plus 1 you will get 13 and 13 minus 4 is 9. And 12 minus 7, what you will get is 5. Now, by combining all the digits, what we have got that is 5925 and 332 and 7408, you will get the final answer. And therefore, you can say that 6,666,666 into 8888 is equals to 5925332 7408. That is 59,253,327,408. So guys, this is the way how we can use case number 2 Vartha Siddhantam Chudamani Sutram to find the product when the number of digits that are in the multiplier or in the multiplicand are lesser when compared with the number of digits that are in the multiplicand or in the multiplier. So guys, I hope that you have understood pretty well how to use this case number 2 Vartha Siddhantam Chudamani Sutra.